Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries December 14, 2022. You're in a reflective cycle, and you're likely to make some useful discoveries in the weeks ahead. A Sun-Saturn influence today helps you see the value of preparation and foresight. Your ambition is stimulated in a pleasant, motivating way, prompting you to concentrate on practical details that need your attention. Getting along with a boss, parent, or authority can be in focus, and it brings rewards. You're thinking about the long term instead of seeking instant gratification. There can be a happy focus on a special task. You can be in a great position to secure or organize an area of your life. Prepare for a significant day around long-term planning. While this may turn your focus a bit more toward achievement and success, it will also help you and a partner discuss how you can invest your assets and investments to build for the long term. Create a vision that you both want to co-create. It will help you both to be strategic about how to get there side by side. Now is a time to be grounded, practical, and realistic, just as you normally are, as you map out your full effort to reach prosperous wealth. If you are looking for a line of credit or mortgage, it could be approved now, too. What will make you feel like you are in charge of your career path? It might be easier for you to step into your inner authority than usual when the Sun in Sagittarius sextiles Saturn in Aquarius. The solar power enhances your positive convictions and your desire for control as you utilize your resources to move forward in your career path. Today's sextile could even address how your investments into assets, property, professional relationships, and more have paid off. Do not be surprised if you begin to see the fruits of your labor come to fruition during the transit. On both sides of the financial fence the heat has dialed back but things are also more balanced. While Mars has been on his own in your income sector since he returned in August, the Sun is spending his last full week in your financial sector on his own as well. With the biggest challenges on both sides of the financial fence behind you and tension between money coming in and money going out waning, both sides will be feeling more empowered. A breakthrough and a breakdown have more similarities than differences. There is much to learn from failure, and much to consider once success has been achieved. You cannot do enough to instill within yourself a core of regularity. Perhaps this is already recognizable in your life, but could it be a healthier core? If morning coffee is a ritual, would you consider changing to tea? Green tea? If the pattern is to be five minutes late, can you change it to five minutes early? Let your artistic talents shine through today. This will enhance your creativity tenfold. If you've got an occasion coming up that requires a gift, consider making something special. Perhaps you're bored with your home decor. If so, today's energy will give you just what you need to spruce things up. Let your imagination run wild, as you'll be amazed at what you can dream up. Have some fun with this. The moon's last visit to your home and family sector for the year is a chance to put some much-needed focus on things close to home. With no planetary activity here, it is the moon's monthly visits have become a lot more important and especially when it comes to your work-life balance. At the same time, after clashing as a full moon last week, this is putting the sun and moon back in harmony, creating more confidence and a sense of well-being. With the sun in his last full week in your financial sector, this is creating both confidence and insight into financial matters on the home front. In the lead up to the moon's return to your romantic sector tomorrow there is a need to be prepared for some pushback. Not only is the moon returning for its last visit to your romantic sector for the year right in the heart of the working week but just as the final weeks of this professional year are in full swing. Our eyes in the sky. Romance will be in the air today as the moon makes a supportive aspect with Mars retrograde. A soft and gentle ambience helps us relax after a stressful week. Spend the morning in bed with your significant other, cuddling and enjoying each other's company. If you're single, spend the morning doing something that brings you pleasure and supports your self-care. We're all being cosmically pushed to shed the things that no longer serve us, and it's important to hold on to the soft moments so we can reconnect with our grace. 
You need to get started on any delayed tasks or tackle any unresolved differences. If you didn't have the right incentive before, you're able to view things in a new light, with a fresh perspective. Previous contacts stimulate your interest, and others find your self-confidence engaging and attractive. Use your energy, enjoy some new recreational activities too. There are some unpleasant aspects in the cosmos today, including a tense square between the moon and Uranus, and not everyone will be engaged with their self-awareness. The energy doesn't have a lot of patience for inflated egos, so step away from people or situations that make you uneasy. Even though finance isn't your favorite subject, you should still be taking care of business affairs. It's time to finish long overdue tasks and to get your documents in order. A positive side effect of this is that you get an overview and see how your finances are placed. As long as you choose to lean into love, you should have a pleasant day. Use the energy to sever ties with any situations, people, or behaviors that are holding you back from your highest path. In the late morning, the Sagittarius Sun sextile to Saturn in Aquarius causes us to feel competent and capable. We receive credit for hard work, reaping good karma after a period of toil. As we wrestled with recent trials and tests, we likely remained unaware that we were accruing valuable life experiences. In fact, we might not be totally conscious of just how much we've grown until another person comes to us for advice. Much to our surprise, we're prepared to rattle off pro tips and best practices. Rash words have complicated an existing situation and created a negative atmosphere. However, you can offer a sensible solution to ease the tension and present your point of view in an uncomplicated and diplomatic way so that others feel you want to resolve the conflict and listen to their opinions. In this way, a long-lasting solution can be found. Don't allow yourself to become involved in any argumentative disputes, if you're upset it's futile and gets you nowhere. It seems everyone you talk to reacts emotionally and prevents you from being objective, they waste your precious time and jangle your nerves. Being patient gets you through without ruining your relationships with people closest to you. As you cannot know what the future holds and things can change quickly, prepare to be flexible, also in financial matters. You might suffer unpleasant consequences if you make a big investment or acquisition now. If you're given this advice, remain skeptical and take some time to consider, as the information might not be the best. Afternoon, the Leo moon trines Chiron in Aries, facilitating healing. Rather than rejecting the reality of past pain, we regard it as instrumental in developing our creativity. If we had not faced such intense challenges, we may never have learned how to express ourselves with courage and conviction. Today, we could encounter someone from our past who did us wrong, and surprisingly, we are able to forgive them. We are guided to be brave and open our hearts, showing that we are not at the mercy of memory. In fact, we may be able to voice how someone's treatment has made us feel, while committing not to let their actions continue to perpetuate present hurt. Our confidence gets a boost as we confront a trigger and neutralize its potency.